Hi everyone, so I wanted to give my opinion kind of on the subject of like modern day um, kind of mediumship and um, my opinion on it basically. So um, like sometimes people will ask, um, you know, what do you think of mediumship today and like um, is it the same as how it was in the past and stuff and I'm like, no, it's not the same as how it was in the past because um, things are changing, people's views are kind of changing on kind of um, what way messages are kind of given. There is kind of a difference between mediumship in kind of the UK version um, and the one in America. The one in America is more message based, like the lovey dovey kind of. Um, you know, I suppose it's more kind of the generalised thing, like, I'm trying to think of an example such as, um, like, oh, your grandmother's here and, you know, she's really happy, she sees what's kind of going on with the kids and that type of thing, and whereas, um, with the UK, it's more evidence-based, it's more kind of, you know, um, I was going to say professional, but that's probably the wrong word, but it's more kind of, um, it feels more serious or something like um they just want to give like the hard facts which is brilliant because um it does confirm that the soul lives on after it sheds its physical body however um what i think needs to happen for mediumship in the future is for those two elements both the uk and the us version to come together because it's all well and good to have, um, you know, a hard-hitting evidence, but then you have to ask yourself, uh, why are we giving readings, why are we doing mediumship? And it's ultimately to bring healing to um, the person that's sitting in front of you. Whether you're doing a reading online or face-to-face -face or in a group demonstration, it um, doesn't really matter. Ultimately, it's to bring healing both to the person getting the reading and also to bring healing also to the spirit and the spirit world as well. That's why I think a lot of people don't kind of get that you're healing both worlds when you give a, give um a reading. Um so I believe that um mediumship is gonna change a lot in the next few years. We really could learn from the Americans in the way that they do deliver the messages because there needs to be that human element of passing on a message from the other side where it's not just hard hidden facts. You need to touch the person's soul. Um, you need to make them feel like you're not just like reeling off a load of facts. You have to have compassion when you're passing along a message. You have to really let the other person know that you have their loved one with you at the time, you're feeling their soul go through yours, and the ultimate goal really is so that they can f experience that person's soul um, for one, la one not one last time, but rather um, one time more, so that they can have a bit of that for comfort and to help with their healing process um, because as much as they want to connect with the spirit world with, for the person that they've come to the reading for their loved ones also want to come down and impart information through the medium's mind to the person so that they are also um, I don't want to say they're also bringing healing messages in other words, like I, I don't, I can't really get the words at the moment, but I believe you know what I mean. Um, so I believe mediumship is gonna change. Like, um, I think even over in Arthur Finley, um, I'm doing a course there in April, and I feel like they have actually started to kind of change their thought processes on that. I remember I was at a workshop with one of the main tutors over at Arthur Finley and um, we were told at one kind of workshop rather 
okay so at the end of a reading like you never want to give them kind of too much because um you know like at the end of it like it was a demonstration whatever um you don't want to kind of give them too much detail because at the end of the reading you want them at the end of because like when you go to a demonstration like you may pay a donation in the door maybe like five euros pounds dollars whatever it doesn't matter and so you're only getting kind of like um a bit of a reading but she, she was saying to save the actual message for um when they come to you at the end okay so i'm getting this mixed up but basically in a public demonstration they're they're giving you the, they're hitting you with the hard facts to prove the existence of the soul after um we leave this world okay so and we were told that you're not to pass a message on to the person when you're giving a reading in a public demonstration because um, that's the part that people want to actually hear from. They don't give a damn about, you know, the person's job and all that type of thing. They know what type of job they had. What they're looking for is a personalised message from that spirit person um, to bring comfort and the healing. But it's something I don't agree with, but we were told at one time to um, hold off on giving that message, which I think is totally wrong. Um, so we were told to hold off on that message because it would get you a customer at the end of the demonstration. So um, that used to be kind of the method and that used to be kind of how it was worked. Which I think is slightly immoral but just my opinion. Um, now they're more so bringing that kind of style in like the more kind of Americanized style in to um the uk kind of mediumship so they're incorporating elements of that so you have to at the beginning of so here's the structure kind of of how i do a reading so bring the spirit person forward i get a visual of them and then you get a sense of a feeling of their personality maybe how they looked how they dressed that type of thing then you go into then I would personally just wait to see what the spirit would want to impart on me. And then I might try and steer the reading in a certain way so that um, I can kind of get like a sense of kind of where they worked and that type of thing. That That's when kind of the facts come in. First you've gone into the personality, now you're going into the facts kind of about their life, maybe hobbies, um, jobs, um kind of family members that type of thing and then after then um the next part of that is usually the spirit will want to talk about things that's going on in the person's life at the moment and then after that gradually it comes out to it's time for the message um and i think the message should be included in all parts of um, in every single reading because it's the part that gives that kind of warm feeling towards the end of the reading because like all mediums they need to remember that the goal of this is to make the person feel warm to feel uplifted to walk away from that reading knowing that our soul does live on after we pass and that their loved ones are in the spirit world or heaven or whatever they wish to call it so I feel like that's very important. That's how I do the structure of my readings. And I do feel like um, the future of mediumship is going to have a more personalised, a more human element. And it's not just going to be reeling off the facts. Um, because I know myself from doing readings. Sometimes, um, like if I was just doing readings online, I would just give kind of facts, facts, facts. But like then I'd be, like when I'm kind of given that information then I'm thinking to myself like like I'm just reeling off facts to this person is this person bored stupid like they know all of these all of the information basically I was giving like within the first two or three minutes it, it proved that the person's it was the person who um the client wanted to um speak to so you know, why am I going on and giving, reeling off all this other, like, you know, possibly unnecessary information? 
And of course, it's nice to hear all of that evidence and the information about the person when they lived, that type of thing. But it's also information that the person sitting in front of you already knows. So I suppose there's also an element of um, trying to find out, figure out the person's needs. And I have heard a few different, like I've, see this is the problem when you go to a few different workshops you get different tutors opinions on what to do and it's very very confusing like so one of not the last workshop I was at the one before he was telling us and this was this was what kind of sat right with me okay he said why not ask the person at the like um towards the end of the reading um, you know, am I, or either even at the middle of the reading, am I meeting your needs? Is this reading kind of going okay? Um, is it kind of, you know, what you expected, that type of thing? And even he was saying that it was okay to ask, like, you know, is there anyone that you want me to actually to connect to here? Which I completely agree with, because how many people come for readings and you finish the reading and they say... Oh, that was nice, but I was lo hoping to hear from someone in particular. And you're like, like, oh my God, like I've just done a 40 minute reading. And the person seems kind of happy, but they're not really happy because they were hoping to hear from someone completely different. So I do agree with that f um, part there that um, it's okay to ask the person at some stage in the reading, is there anyone in particular that they want to connect with? Because a typical reading costs, I know in Ireland it costs between 50 and 60 euro for a typical mediumship reading. It's a lot of money, it's um, a typical full person's um, day's salary. So the person should be entitled to get their money's worth from that reading in particular. So I, it's just my opinion, but I would also agree with that tutor that it's okay to ask the person who they'd like to speak from and just to kind of check in with them and see is the reading going, kind of going okay, like, because also like, you don't like go be halfway through reading and then like the person say like I don't know what you're on about like that is a really bad thing to happen and it can kill the energy in a reading and it can all go downhill from there it can put up a major major um, block. The last workshop I was at I actually asked a question about that okay so I said at my last workshop um such and such a tutor I didn't actually mention the name but I just said um that they said like you know is it okay to ask someone um can you connect to a specific person or to see like how the reading is going he was like no and i goes okay um and why is that and he said he said it's because it's your job as a medium to find out kind of you know who that person wants to speak to and i was a bit like hmm, i know but sometimes the person that they want to come through doesn't always come through for them and it can leave the person feeling deflated um and you know it's so true that like in some cases like sometimes that spirit a certain spirit won't come through to a certain medium because they're looking to find a medium that has a similar personality to themselves a similar frame of reference or so like similar thoughts that they can impart through the medium so that the medium can get their story across effectively. Um so oh my god, I just want to just got mind blank. So yeah, so like there was two different versions of two different tutors, two different views. Um and you know, it can be like the like it is the medium's job to see who the person wants to kind of connect with but I mean there's a difference between being psychic and being a mind reader and psychics aren't mind readers unless they're actually trained in that 
which takes a very long time and I don't see the point in it because it's like invading someone's um, thoughts and their personality and so on. So, um, I would say it depends on the medium um, to see who, to see what they feel is the appropriate thing to do. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with asking someone like, you know, who do you want to connect with today? Can you just give me the first name of the person you want to connect? Possibly a relationship, no surnames, just first name and relationship. And what you can say is, um, I'm going to do my very best to connect you through to that person um, today. But I can't guarantee who comes through. And I can honestly say that whenever someone's given me a name and a relationship, like 100% of the time I've been able to connect to them. The reason why they don't come true initially is they ha they're either not the strongest spirit to come true, they're not the person that can impart the best information to you, or else there's just not a direct connection there for that, or there may not be a specific reason for that spirit to come true. But if you call on a specific spirit and you have someone in the room that is connected to that spirit, then they will always come true. I've never known a spirit to actually refuse to come true to someone because ultimately it doesn't matter what someone was like here when they were alive whether they were a nice person or a horrible person they may still want to come true to give healing to that person because for all we know this could be the only reading that that person ever gets in their whole life and the spirit may see this as an amazing and you know once off life changing um, opportunity to um, bring healing to that person and their life. Um, so I really feel like the future of mediumship is going to get more personal, it's going to get less robotic um, and that's what I've always felt like mediums should really speak to spirits like they're speaking to friends because I just feel like sometimes they treat like the spirit world like it's just a telephone line like come on give me the information come on I want to get this connection you know and it's so impersonal and like I don't call them just like spirits or ghosts or anything I call them spirit people to meet their, to meet their people and there's plenty of them going around my room now at the moment just as I'm even speaking so I really feel it's got to it's going to get the spirit world's kind of kind of going to get more real to people a lot more people are kind of going going to open up to the possibility of being able to um go to people like mediums to be okay and be open-minded enough to receive a message from someone instead of the old mindset of um just maybe thinking that it's all, you know, a bit of a hoax or anything like that. Um, like for years and years I've done um, medium readings online completely for free. Um, and part of me like wants to keep doing that like for long term in a lot of ways because I want to kind of prove that, you know, there is mediums out there that they don't do it for money, they're doing it just for kind of to bring healing, to bring upliftment, to bring a bit of life back into the world because there's so much, you know, happening at the moment in the world where, you know, you can't, like, you can't not want to spread a bit of good news, a bit of light, a bit of positivity, um, some hope to some people. A lot of people find it very hard when someone passes, they think that they're gone or they're just in the ground. And it's really very sad and disheartening because if they only knew like the person's energy was around them all the time. I don't know where we go when we pass and that's the God's honest truth. What I personally believe is when we pass over from like when we when we um die, I suppose you don't say it like that, we transmute into energy so um our soul becomes free from the body, it can kind of go anywhere, it becomes energy. 
energy, um, like it can't be time, space or anything, it can't stop energy, energy can be anywhere at any time, it can be split into like millions of kind of molecules or atoms and it can be like on this side of the world, that side of the world anyway. Um, I believe we go to kind of a place like that's similar to um, where we go when we sleep I suppose is the best way. I believe that we can um, kind of go into kind of like do that dream world when we cross over we can make anything a possibility and the sky is the limit and um, but I believe that we are also um, we also retain a high intelligence when we cross over as well because we are able to have the amazing ability to come back and communicate with other psychics or mediums and pass information on to people who are still um you know in their physical bodies which is you know it's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it that this is even possible because sometimes i'd be doing readings and I'm like whoa like am i really like communicating with someone that isn't physically here anymore am i really passing on this message is this really accurate like you know it's really kind of it's astonishing what um is possible um and all it takes is someone to train themselves for a few years to communicate with the spirit world um i believe someone everyone has all I believe everyone rather has an ability to communicate with this spirit world in some way, shape or form. Um, some people may be just a little bit, um, they might may just find it a bit easier to develop and stuff. But um, when you think about it, we, we've all been spirits at one stage that have come into a physical body at one stage through choice of our own. So... I keep getting mind blank all the time. I swear I'm getting Alzheimer's. So I just think it's a really incredible thing that we're able to even do this. And I believe the future of mediumship, being the point of the video, um, is to um, find that human kind of spark within um, ourselves as mediums so that we can pass it on to um, not only the spirit world, but also the person that we have in front of us doing a reading for. So that they can also experience what we experience during a reading for at least a moment in time. So that's all. This um, video has gone on quite a long time. Um, I am speaking lowly because um, it's night time. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please do like and share this um, on um, YouTube and please visit my Facebook page which is simply Psychic Medium Trevor. Thanks very much and good night.